Hey there. Welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, joined by my crew, my posse, my gang. Matt Gorley, Sonam of Sessian. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you guys here. Good to ride with you again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah ride free or die, I always say. Yeah. Ooh, but I've uh, never said that. Ride or die? Is that what you mean? Oh. Ride free oh, or die? Oh, I was die? thinking live free or live die. Free You're or thinking die. of live free or die hard. The uh... <sighs> This posse sucks. No, it's live free and die hard or live free or die hard? Live free or die hard. God, worst. Guess what? We just won the award. I was just contacted worst podcast open we ever. We did it. Yeah, it was bad. We just got it. it. Bad. We just got it. Well, I think we can Listen do better. Listen to this review. The host quibbled over whether it's live free and die hard or live free or die hard, never even mentioning the film itself. <laughs> it was a muddled, tangled mess. It went on for 10 minutes, and then this reviewer's review was read off of an iPhone. <laughs> Can we the get a fact check on that? <laughs> I'm getting the fact check right now. And it's verified. <laughs> it's live free or die hard. Not to be confused with a good day to die hard. The fifth installment? Uh, uh yes. Oh, <laughs> then as Gorley continues the theme. <laughs> I can't believe this review came out so quickly as we're doing it. As Gorley continued the theme, the segment became even more flaccid, tangled, and self-referential. A good day to die limp. There we go. At, Gorley went even further. The imp who never takes a cue kept chucking out different versions of good times die hard. <laughs> <laughs> until the whole thing was literal oral diarrhea. <laughs> Uh, wow, this is, uh, man, this is, uh, this is serious. This is Slate. And still a better review than Good Day to Die Hard. Yeah, exactly. And just when you thought it was over, Gorley continued <laughs> it one last time for the ultimate callback. The this ultimate. reviewer is now taking his life. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Look what just popped up. An obituary. Oh, oh no. Obituary. Yes, prominent reviewer for Slate takes own life. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Prominent reviewer for, <laughs> a po podcast reviewer for Slate took their own life just after finishing a takedown of Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. I love that you're actually miming the swiping of the phone, the scrolling. I am. I'm scrolling yeah. up because yeah. I'm a guy to have good space work and this is all really happening. Yeah. Yeah. In a first, uh, O'Brien read the obituary for the fake podcaster from the fake Slate review while miming swiping up on his screen. Oh, oh this is incredible. It's very specific. Incredible. Well, yeah. uh, uh, Agile Minds, I suppose, Agile Minds. We got him. You. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we don't have a lot of time, but I do want to point out some other great people that are always here in the booth mm. with us making this happen. Mm. The great Adam Sachs, mm -hmm. a wonderkind who got us into the whole yeah, without podcast whom, world. You know? Without whom, I would be virtually unknown, except for the almost 30 years of fame oh, before him. Oh. And then uh, Eduardo doing a great job. Mm. Killing it, Eduardo. Thank Absolutely. Designed this uh, sound studio. I'm made paralleled. it perfect. Oh, thank you. And then, uh, of course, uh, Blay. Blay yeah. is here. Yeah. And, uh, huh. I don't know why I brought him <laughs> Wonderkind. Up. He designed this studio and Blay is here. <laughs> well, also Blay is here. But uh, Blay has been with me for a long time. Blay yeah. came on. Is it, You were a kid when you came on, Blay. That's right, right out of college, right 2001, of, a 22-year-old, uh, fresh out of the oven. That's right, and uh, that was a long time ago. <clears throat> yeah, it was, yeah, 2000, yeah, 2001. And I bring this up for a reason, because we were talking about it just before the podcast. Uh -huh. Some would say I'm jamming this in to the conversation, <laughs> but you still dress like a child. <laughs> it's your generation, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, in World War II, 20-year-olds stormed beaches they had their lives cut short defending America, and you're wearing what is that T-shirt? I, I don't. It's got a. Bunch and you of wear ironic watches that are plastic, and well, you wear. <laughs> well, now I've switched to uh, bracelets. Is now that you a have... Taylor Swift friendship? Bracelet? No, these are just these are bra these are just uh, bracelets. You know, I got these in Thailand. I got these. Yeah, okay, in... whatever. I want to know okay. where the real men have gone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, look at you. Every time you're always walking around, you've got a kooky backpack yeah. and you've got little, you know. Uh, I know. I, I look. I have holes in my jeans. Oh my true. god! Oh boy, you're just stepping in it now. Did you pay extra for the hole you. in your jeans? Was that extra? I will say. Uh oh. That I've worked here for for a number of years, and uh, and and I like to dress. Uh, I have my own style, but I would your be lying style. if I said there wasn't a whisper every morning. When I put my clothes on, oh yeah, what is going? I know yeah. that feeling. Every I do morning, too. Yeah. I do too. You've I, done that to everybody who works a, for that, you. What's that movie where I, I think it's Die Hard? 
die, no, <laughs> where stop they, saying die hard. Where uh, uh, I think it's the never ending story where the kid has to walk by these statues and mm. they might open up and obliterate that with eye beams mm. or whatever. And it's yeah. like the eye of Sauron. It's like coming to work every day. Yes. I know the eye of Sauron is going to peer. Wait, my me. only question is this, yes. and it's just just for oh, your God. entire generation. Okay, okay, can't wait to answer. No, but this. isn't there a time for us to grow up? I think other generations yes. had to go through the depression, and they had to go right. through. I mean, just terrible events, the Civil War, <laughs> everything, and yeah. they were they were forced to become yeah. men early. Well, what did you go through? Oh, yeah. Please don't even get <laughs> into what it. What have you done? I know. Well, I was. I went through the ch the cancellation of the show Chips. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I watched a great show about two uh, motorcycling <laughs> policemen in Los Angeles go away. Listen, Do you know what that just... was like? I watched Gerald Ford stumble on a tarmac. <laughs> Do you know what that does to a little boy? I had terrible, terrible things happen to like, me. What else? What oh, else has oh, happened? Oh, please. Yeah. What Nothing else? has happened like that's to you. Like that's not enough? You know? <laughs> the sunscreen I used as a boy was not nearly up to snuff. <laughs> And I'm paying for it now by having things removed from my neck. <laughs> because that some screen was probably the equivalent of an SPF 10. <laughs> Not an SPF 50, which is what I should be had. <laughs> according to my person who works on my face. Uh -huh. I have a whole team that crafts this body. I have suffered and I am a man because I went through things. And Blay, look at you. Well, well okay, well, let me ask you a question then. How do you think I should dress? What would be the ideal? Have you ever worn a suit? I think when you go to a funeral for a loved one, you're wearing a who farted t-shirt, <laughs> a backwards baseball cap that says, what, me worry? I don't know some how puffies, you have some puffy sneakers. Long. And then you've got like seven watches that are all plastic. Isn't it funny? They don't tell time, quipped Blay. Can you just take a look around this room though? Cause I, I am wondering how you made it this far with shirts like that. We have all just relegated ourselves to gap basics because yeah. they, the way to be invisible in front of this That's man. That's true. Yeah. Now, um, Sona, I've only criticized you for only having one leather jacket for the last 25 years. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's a high class snub. I know. Well, no, I'm saying yeah. it's it just looks like the one that uh, the general wore in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got little ridges on the on but the what, shoulder. But what am I supposed to replace it like every few months? I no, don't do that. just one other jacket. That's Come all. Come on, get out of here. But you do have that that kind of boomer trait of you have to comment on everything the way everybody looks and the way they live their oh, lives. Excuse me, trait. I'm not a boomer. You are a boomer. boomer I am not. You that are. Is a sick no. Bird. Yeah. I am not a boomer. You're like my parents. I'm like, Gen Y. Uh, no, you're no, not. You're yeah. not. Yeah. As in, why the fuck am I working with you people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm self-conscious now. Is there an age that you think we should stop wearing baseball caps? Uh -oh. No, no, no. That's always cool, Eduardo. Um, okay. No, it has. You know what? And by it the way, has, that's a football cap. It has everything to do. <laughs> no, it's because you, you know, you think Eduardo's cool and you like to beat up on Blay. That's not it. I really do have an issue with Blay. Blay, I'm worried you're yeah. you're always going to be a child, <laughs> and I don't want to visit you in a nursing home because I'm going to live forever. Is. Well, I, I don't want to visit you in a nursing home. And he's like, oh, he's over there, and you're, you know what I mean? You're dressed like a like a 16 year old <laughs> Korean schoolgirl. I would like to see who's that. Come up, who's gone to a club? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, look, and you're like, oh, this person on my T-shirt, that's Ubishi. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little squiggly doodly. I love the squiggly doodly. I watch them every Saturday morning. Oh, I don't know where they to fall some, in this. Yeah, they, the Ubishi has some good merch. No, no you gotta admit, on, you're on my side I'm a little no, bit. No, no, I'm on Team Blay. I'm on Team Blay. Yeah. I just don't think you get. I don't think you get it. And oh, so I get you it hate completely. It. What you is don't get it and you hate it. No, you no, no. I get it completely. It's a, it's a little story called Peter Pan. <laughs> I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. Just a moment on a parent and I'll follow silly rule. I'll dress like Blay every day. <laughs> well, can I say a thing which is, uh, oh, why when am you I, get why why am I sorry. even going to say When this? you open your closet to get dressed in the morning, I bet there's all kinds of like plastic hats, goofy things come tumbling out of your closet. Is you know, your wardrobe today? animated and it speaks? to you yeah no no uh it, it's not animated but that is true actually today i had to go through a whole pile of hats uh, what are you doing play what are you doing okay. just well, let I'll him, just let him the, dig his own this is, grave. Gonna, this is what i was gonna say which is which is uh this is a bad analogy but you know batman the reason why batman oh, wears no, no. can i just speak yep the reason why batman wears a big bat on his chest is because that's where the armor is thickest. So people will shoot at the bat. Okay. So I'm like, 
the Never bat symbol yeah. on his chest. It's from The Dark Knight Returns. But uh, so basically, everyone else should be thanking me because I am drawing his ire for you. But I don't want that for you. I'm jumping you. on the fashion grenade, so to speak, for the office. But we shouldn't have to do that. You know what I mean? We should I just all. I take a look. I'm just a little worried about you, Blade, because you came to work with right. me as a young man, and I thought, oh, yeah. this is cool. Yeah. I like this young guy. Maybe he'll stick with me for the long haul. Yeah. And that was 22 years ago. Yes. And if anything, you dressed more like a man then, <laughs> and now you've just become like a theme park <laughs> animal that's running around. You know, was he hurting though? The, the, it? the other thing I'll say is, uh, you know, I lost a bunch of weight a couple years ago, and so now that allowed me. I could. O I only had a certain amount of clothes to choose from when you're, you know, 6'3 yeah. and you're a bigger guy. You can only, so, but now I'm like, oh man, that looks cool. That looks cool. So I'm kind of having a renaissance because I could never wear these kind of clothes He's when expressing I was himself. younger. Amen. And I you're shooting younger. on him. Okay. You owe him an apology. No, can I say one thing? Sona, he just did this jujitsu <laughs> move where it now looks like I'm weight shaming him, which oh. is terrible. That's a terrible thing you just did to me. First of all, nice job. Um, yes, you did lose a lot of weight. I just thought, uh, that you had terrible diarrhea. <laughs> I didn't realize that you went on this regimen. So I, th th both things can be true. Yeah, but uh, that's my favorite <laughs> diet, by the way. Um, that's gonna that's gonna you know sweep the nation soon. But yes, I, I just want to see you in a suit once. Okay, All right. just wear a suit once. Okay, I, you know what? Come in yeah. in a suit and we'll do a segment about it. Okay, yeah. yeah. You Let's know what? Let's put you in the microscope okay. even more. Sure. I will wear a suit. I will dress up. And no, that doesn't mean, and you can't put any pins on okay. it for like you can DC do oh or God, Marvel. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, yes, you on. can. Okay. No, you, it's, this is a bank. I, this, yeah. from now on, this whole podcast <laughs> empire is a bank. <laughs> this is bank. This about? is Bank of America. <laughs> you're and wearing, I'm going to start dressing up. You're wearing up. a t-shirt. I know. You I'm going like to change you're working too. on a little schooner right now. Okay, that's. <laughs> oh, let's get him. He looked like oh, that's not going to go well. Silicon yeah. Valley. Yeah. Oh, over let's there. fight I'm... Bruce Lee. That'll go well. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I've got a spoon. I'm going to go attack Bruce Lee. <laughs> You're right. I don't. Uh, do so, that. so, so uh, no. I just think, Adam, you think as the guy who really is the power behind the throne, don't you think it would be a good idea? Like I'm a big admirer, and he's a friend of Jack White because Jack White makes everyone around him sort of dress up, uh, and yeah. and I think that's really cool, and it has this cool effect. When uh, when you see Jack and his gang, they're all they all represent. They're all they're all dressed for the occasion. And uh, and me, I just look like I run a daycare center. Well, you're the most but casually dressed of any of us. Today right? I am, but okay. you have to admit, mostly I wear a tie a lot. I mean, today just happens to be a, an off day. Yeah, that was I was going to say is that like they, it, it starts at the top, right? It starts with Jack White, and then they all I guess mirror their style off of. Well, so. I think he also tases them if they don't obey. <laughs> I think yeah. you're probably right. Uh, but but what I'm saying is, uh, <laughs> don't you think maybe we should start to have a dress code here where you've got to have, yeah. and we have to idea. pretend it's a bank in 1955. No, that's, And sure. people have to wear fedora hats, like like uh, hats from this the 50s. This is all the stuff I got mocked for in the first place. I know, but that, that was a couple of years ago. This, I mean, I never wore a fedora, this is but. A, a we, comedy I, podcast. Why? Are I think we... it's a good idea, but we'd have to work it into the budget because we can't ask people to go and buy. Oh, now new we're wardrobe. talking. So, so you have we, to. Clue we'd have us? to figure okay. out. Okay, I'll pay for it, but it's have to be very shittily made clothing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, very bad, like stuff that if it rains, the color runs. No, I need yeah. a new leather jacket. Uh, I will give you one of my old ones. What? Yeah, no, you're I'll gigantic. You... So what? That's I'll... not gonna fit me. It doesn't matter. Buy me a new jacket. Um, yeah, I want a new Rivian SUV. Okay. Thanks. Um, buy his stuff. No, I'm no. getting him the Rivian. I'm not getting you a jacket. Oh, come Those on. things it's are so expensive. Much more expensive for a Rivian. I just think that this is a comedy podcast, and I I want to say on the record, I like how Blade dresses, Same. and I'm totally fine with it. And I think you're being a bully. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank oh, I know. you. But I'm a bully. <laughs> I will I will dress up. I, I will dress up and come in, and uh, you you might don't you know change what? yourself. You might not like it. No, I love it, the idea of Blade coming in. Yeah, you might not just like come it. in in a suit yeah. one day. It might freak you. You know what I mean? No, and it's not going to freak me out to see you dressed as an adult <laughs> you're 72 years old for christ's sake it's time to you know grow up a little bit 